G'day everyone, I bought this gas refiller from eBay and uh, just going to give it a go. Uh, I've got a barbecue bottle here, over here. It's a bit hard with the camera, it's uh, upside down, you're supposed to invert that. It's a 10 kilo bottle. I've got a um, Primus butane propane mix, it's 230 grams, so I'll just get the scales, turn that on, if the bugger will go on for me, there we go, this is empty, I'll just tar that, Okay, that's zero. I'll turn this gas bottle on. That's on. And I think the idea is screw that onto here. Put that back on. Hang on, it's going to be okay. It's 55 grams heavier because it's got the contraption on the top. So I'll just tear that again, tar that again. Okay. Okay, so that's zero grams, and I want to try and get that up to 230, or it's close to 230. And but you do that by just move this camera a little bit so you can see better. Okay, so now supposedly turn that, and so it's on zero. Here we go. Turn this. Okay, I can see, I can see gas running along the tube. I can hear it going in. 20, 34, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80 grams. Okay, it's just hit 90. Seems like it's slowing down a little bit. Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, a hundred. Okay, hundred and one, hundred and two. So it slowed down a little bit. I'll just move it down onto the ground and see if that makes any difference. Okay, I can see the bubbles going in. So it's still filling up. So I'll drop this down into here. I think that's flowing. I think that's flowing better. 111, 112, 100 and almost 120. Yep, just hit 120 then. Can's not cold, can just feels I'll give it a bit of a shake, turn it upside down. 140 nearly 145 150 dog doesn't like this gas sound you can hear it barking in the back Give it a bit of a shake I have no idea what shaking it is doing but it feels like it's taking a bit more in when I do that so 164, 165. Okay, so it's pretty much slowed down there at 100. It's 166. So I'll turn this off now. So you can see the little the bubbles and the the liquid gas in this tube. That feels pretty full, very full. Okay, so this is again a Primus, it's a butane propane mix, or it was, and now I've put straight um, barbecue gas into it.
Right now I'm going to go into the shed and try it on a Bix burner and see what the flame looks like. See you in a little while. Okay, just going to write on here. 5th, 9th, 2020. Filled so I don't get mucked up. Alright, so this is... This one I have painted. This is just another Primus that I've painted black. Put the cap on there so I don't lose my ink. So this is the the little Bix burner for running steam engines. Getting the boiler up to boil. Okay. Put a little bit of copper to hold that. Turn the light off. Let's see what, so this is a normal um, Primus tank with the butane propane mix. I just want to see what the flame's like on that. Okay, so there's the normal blue flame. So that's my normal setup with a Bix burner to go under a boiler. And that's the normal Primus tank. Alright, turn the light on. Gas off, undo that. So that's the tank that I've just filled up from the barbecue gas. Take the little valve off. Put the valve on here. Interesting to see what the flame looks like. Hopefully it's just as good and just the same. Okay. Okay, the can fills. Turn it up a little bit jumping around a little bit, I don't know if that's just the can equalising temperature with the outside air, but it's a bit high. Well, there we go. Don't know what it's jumping up and down for, but okay, that's running out, jumped up again. I'm going to turn that down, I'll try and turn that down a bit more. Okay, that's down low. You can see it's just, it's just doing that little, see it just jumped up then. I don't know why that is, I don't know if that's because of the different gas. Or if it's just a the actual Primus can is just equalizing like the because I filled it rapidly from the barbecue bottle if anyone's got any answers it'd be great if also if anyone's got any um, suggestions that what I'm doing is inherently dangerous that would be appreciated as well because uh, I am far from a gas expert but uh, what I'm trying to do is th these little bottles down here in Australia, I think this one is, I don't know, about $10 and the, the bigger Promise ones about that high are $17. So it uh, would work out, instead of paying $17 for one of these, by using the barbecue gas to fill it up, it would work out, I don't know, say roughly a dollar. So a dollar to $17, that's a big saving. And uh, you can burn through a lot of these bottles in a day if you're boiling water all day long for a steam engine. See, that's still jumping up now. Just turn that, try to turn that down a little bit more. So that's the, the nice little blue 
nice little blue flames are just dancing around on top of the ceramic of the Bix burner just don't understand why about every 30 seconds it'll just jump up like that I'll just wait another see if it does it again there's some heat coming off that I can tell you see just did it again well, I don't know if that's normal, because I don't think that does that with the normal mix. But there you are. And again, I know I've asked on the forum about the difference between butane and propane. I sort of follow, un sort of understand it and follow it a little bit for uh, different temperatures. But Australia is inherently a hot place. So I think the barbecue gas will work. So it just jumped up again. Anyway, there you have it. At least the thing from China worked. It did. It did work. Filled it up. Um, didn't work until I realised that you had to turn the barbecue bottle upside down. So the gas was at the bottom. As soon as I did that, it ran straight in. But uh, with the scales, it shows showed me that it definitely does fill up. I can feel it in the can that it's full. But uh, any suggestions or advice would be really appreciated. Okay, thanks for watching and appreciate it. Bye now.